Hi, this is Cornelia from Kuruka Hay Farm. After our last video where we sprayed compost extract on garlic and on the fruit trees, we had heaps of people ask how to make compost extract. And this is what I want to show you today. So we, let's go and make some compost extract. And we've got a 400 micron sieve here, which will um, be fine enough for us to be able to put it into the sprayer. So it goes through all the nozzles. And with the 400 micron, I can make sure that my biggest organisms that I want to extract, they, which are the nematodes, they're still coming through into my extract. So 400 micron is the one to go. We um, have got vermicast here, compost and cow pet pit, biodynamic um, preparation. And we are just going to mix that into our container. So I use a couple of handfuls here, a few handfuls there, handful of carpet pit, a bit more vermicast. Any worms that are still in here, they're going to stay um, alive and intact and they can actually go back into the worm farm once I'm finished here. So I fill this about a quarter, a quarter way, and then I've got my bucket here with water, and I submerge that into my water. So now I'm just going to do gentle movement to get those organisms off the compost into the water. So they're going to go through that filter into the water, and I just do it pretty gently. Um, you see that the water is getting now very dark and brown which is the humic acid that's been um, getting out into the water from the compost in the vermicast, which is great. Humic acid is awesome. It's a great um, fungal food. And I just swirl it around and I can just feel that lots of that um, solids, they're very, very fine, they've gone out and there's quite a bit of sticks to lift into left in here which is fine so just gonna go and do a bit of a check smoothing it as I go so now I've got just about half left I was up to here before and now I've got a lot less solids in there so all those soluble materials especially from the vermicast which is very fine will have gone into the water as well as the organisms so I just give it another swirl Lift that up. And this leftover material which contains sticks, the worms, there is some biochar and some other more chunky material that can go straight back into your compost or the worm farm to get, you know, broken down further and recharged with organisms. I'll just put that into a separate bucket. And now I'm just going to check that under the microscope. I'll just give it a good swirl. I would like to just know what organisms I have now in my brew that I can make sure I've got enough. If not, I can just repeat this process. So I go off to the lab and check that under the microscope. 